Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Unlimited. So children, today we will be solving lesson number 3 of your workbook that is storage of water. Let's see the first question. Fill in the blanks by choosing the correct words from the brackets. First one, dash our duck to obtain the rain water that seeps into the ground. The answer is wells. Number two, Water stored in a dash is used for generating electricity. The answer is dam. Third one, dash is a modern method of water storage. The answer is bore well. Okay. Let's see question number two. State whether the following statements are true or false. First one, in the past, reservoirs were built on the hill forts by breaking the rocks. True. Second one, some of the old tanks are still in use. True. Third one, water from Pan Poi is made available only if price is paid for it. False. Fourth one, the remains of old water stores are seen at many places. True. Fifth one, the bore wells are very broad. False. Let's see question number three. Match the column. First one is Jayakwadi, the answer is Godavari. Second one, Ujni, the answer is Bhima. Third one, Yeldari, and the answer is Purna. Then see question number four, answer the following questions only in words. The first one is, the main source of water on earth, answer is rain. Second one, the traditional method of water storage in cities, the answer is tanks. And the third one, the traditional method of drinking water storage, storage is draw wells okay we'll see the fifth question now answer the following questions in one sentence each first one where do water stores like rivers dams wells and lakes get their water from answer water stores like rivers dams wells and lakes get their water from rain question number two how is the rainwater seeped into the ground obtained? Answer, the rainwater seeped into the ground is obtained by digging wells. Question number three, what is pohra? Answer, a small pot tied to a rope which is used to draw drinking water from draw wells is called pohra. Let's see the fourth one now. Question number four, why did the draw wells go out of use? Answer, the draw well went out of use because of introduction of tap water system. Question number 5. Which material was in use to build reservoirs in the past? Answer. The material like stones, mortar, etc. was in use to build reservoirs in the past. Question number 6. What is a dam built on? Answer. A dam is built on a river. Question number 7. For what purposes is the water stored in dams used? Answer, the water stored in dams is used for the purpose of drinking, cultivation, factories and generating electricity. Let's see the next part. Answer the following questions in brief. Question number one, why should we store water? Answer, water is a natural resource. Along with us, all living beings use water all year round. In our country, rainy season lasts nearly only for three or four months. If we do not store water, we will face a problem of storage of water. Therefore, we should store water. Question number two. What were the traditional ways of storing water in the house? Answer. In the past, draw wells were dug near house to get drinking water. The water wells used to have water all year round. People used to draw water from draw wells by using a small pot pohra, tied to a rope. These were the traditional ways of storing water in the house. Question number 3. At which places were reservoirs built in the past? Answer. In the past, reservoirs were built in areas of low rainfall or in areas without a major river. 
reservoirs were also built on the hill forts for the provision of drinking water for people living on the hill forts question number 4 what is water pollution answer a fall in quality of water is known as water pollution waste water from houses factories get mixed in rivers lakes etc this results in water pollution give brief information of water tanks on the hill forts answer in the past some people used to live on the hill forts 224 to reservoirs used to build on the hill fort for the provision of drinking water for people living on hill forts reservoirs and tanks used to dug by breaking the rocks on the hill forts question number 6 give brief information of draw wells answer in the past draw wells were dug to get drinking water the water was drawn from draw wells by using a small pot pohra tied to rope atpadi in sangli district had a draw well in every wada house the draw wells had water all year round in this village draw well went out of use after the introduction of tap water system in maharashtra in many villages the draw wells are now sealed then we have question number 7 give brief information of old tanks houses answer earlier in some large cities tanks were used to store water nowadays many of the old tanks are out of use however even today some of them are in use question number 8 write up about importance of dams answer dams are useful to store water of rivers Water stored in dams is used for drinking, cultivation, factories and generating electricity. This helps villages and cities to grow. Question number 9. Write a brief about bore wells. Answer. Bore well is the modern method of water storage. Bore wells are dug with the help of electricity. Bore wells are very deep and narrow. hand pumps or electric pumps are used to draw water from bore wells then we have question number 10 write in brief about pan poi answer a big clay jar of drinking water kept free of charge for people out on the road is called pan poi water from pan poi is made available free of charge to everyone pan poi is are set up by individuals or institutions pan poi is are very useful especially in summer now we have open ended questions question number 1 how can water be saved in places with water storage suggest what can be done answer water can be saved in places with water storage by the following ways filling up big utensils pots etc and use stored water economically building tanks reservoirs wells etc then we have question number 2 which good habits must we inculcate in order to use water economically or what must we keep in mind while using water we must inculcate the following good habits in order to use water economically I will not unnecessarily waste water while brushing teeth or taking bath. I will not waste water while filling jars, buckets, tanks, etc. I will inform immediately about leaky tap or leaky bucket to an elderly person. Then we have what's the solution? Savani and Ameya get tap water in their house as a result the water from the draw well which had been used since the old days is not used any longer because of this grandmother is upset suggest how Savani and Ameya can use the draw well water for purposes other than drinking answer Savani and Ameya can use the draw well water for the following purposes other than drinking It can be used for gardening. It can be given to animals to drink. It can be used for cleaning the house, washing clothes, etc. 
क्वेश्चंस फॉर ओरल टेस्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन नेम द मंथ्स ऑफ रेनी सीजन इन इंडिया द आंसर इज जून टू सेप्टेम्बर नंबर टू नेम द ट्रेडिशनल मैथड्स ऑफ वाटर स्टोरेज आंसर बाउडी बैम्बू ड्रिप इरीगेशन मैथड नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम वेर डू यू गेट वॉटर एट योर होम आंसर रिवर्स लेक्स और रिजर्वॉयस Now we have activity project over here children try this make a small hillock of mud and stones in the yard as shown in the following picture pour water over the hillock using a watering can like rain observe and note down the following number 1 in which direction does the water flow answer the water flows from the top of the hillock to the bottom or base of the hillock Okay second one how does the water flow on the steeper slopes answer the water flows rapidly on the steeper slopes number 3 how does the water flow on the gentler slopes answer the water flows slowly on the gentler slopes question number 4 what happens when the stones cause an obstruction answer when the stones cause an obstruction some of the water changes its direction and flows rapidly in the outward direction some of the water flows gently through stones let's see the fifth one where do puddles form puddles are formed in a low lying area around the hillock question number 6 when does the direction of flow change answer the direction of the flow changes when there is an obstruction in its way next question now stop pouring water over the hillock as shown in the following picture and observe and note down the following question number 1 why did the hillock dry when we stopped pouring water answer the hillock dried because the process of absorption of water stopped and the absorbed seeped into the hillock number 2 how long did the hillock take to dry answer the hillock took nearly 30 minutes to dry third one which part of the hillock dried quickly answer part of stones of the hillock dried quickly number 4 which part took longer to dry answer part of mud took longer to dry fifth question number 5 why did it take longer to dry answer more amount of water was seeped into the mud therefore it took longer to dry so children you can copy these notes in your workbook that's all for lesson number 3 storage of water So if you like the video do subscribe the channel like it and share it with your friends who need it see you soon in the next video take care of yourself bye everyone